Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this unique knife that came out this August with Civivi is called the Vision FG. And what attracted me to it is it has a couple of unique features or unique design elements that are new to me. Um, if we start out with some common ones, what do we have? Well, it's a pocket knife. Uh, it's got a reverse Tonto blade. I've addressed that in, in previous knife um, videos. I do like this design because it does put a lot of emphasis right up front on that tip, but then keeping it fairly low, yet also giving you a full belly. I almost consider this like a modified sheet point, but um, modified Tonto, reverse Tonto uh, fits the bill as well. But that's not what makes this thing unusual. The first thing is this handle. This is a Lexan handle. Lexan is a hard polycarbonate plastic, has a lot of great features. It's probably the most popular plastic used in water bottles that are not soft or you can't easily squeeze. Uh, it's got great thermal properties, good, um, good solid uh, impact resistance, but in this case they've gone with a see-through or transparent design with a light, um, you can see the uh, uh, light texturing, so you can hang on to the thing, but you can see right through it. So they're exploring Lexan. Now you might be thinking, what is this big thing right here? Well, that is what they are calling the super lock. So if you look at this design, what we've got, and, it, and it's a fairly heavy knife, um, this is 4.1 ounces. So it's a pretty beefy design. A lot of that is, it's a lightly skeletonized set of stainless liners. It's a heavy design, but you've also got this. Now in a lot of knives, like this one that I just did the, uh, or I did a video on this other Svivi that's super light, you can see it's obviously, you know, there's, there's a ton of open space. Here there's not. This is filled with metal. Now this not only is, is a back strap on the knife, it's also a locking mechanism. But how this works is you literally push this down just like this. And it releases a lock that drops into, um, into that cutout in the blade. Really solid. Maybe that's why they call it a super lock. Plus, if you're pushing down, you're actually increasing the force on the lock. You can see the design here by, I don't know how you pronounce it, Senex, S-N-E-C-X. That also happens to be the same designer of this. I didn't mention that in that video. But anyway, so is it easy to use? Once you get the hang of it, yeah, it is. Um, there is... A thumb stud, you can flick that out, you know, with, with your thumb if you'd like, but also this completely releases the blade. So you can see it just swings freely here. Um, so it is possible to flip that out, you know, and to flip it in. Um, once it's in, it's in pretty solid. I mean, there is, there is no movement because this is a strong spring that pushes that down in there. Um, this jimping is kind of interesting. I mean, yeah, I guess for, you know, when you, you're holding on to it for your thumb, maybe. Um, but this is fairly light jimping right here. Doesn't, it's not really, uh, it doesn't really get in the way. Um, I, uh, I wasn't sure if that was going to be enough after I've used this knife quite a bit. Uh, it turns out that's plenty because all you got to do um, is push this back. A little bit to release. Uh, is that the greatest lock mechanism in the world? Uh, no, it's a choice. There are lots of different kinds of locking mechanisms. Because of that, it tells me we haven't yet dialed in the lock. I mean, there's the axis lock, there's the liner lock, there's a frame lock, um, there's the back lock, like the old bucks. That's kind of what I thought this was going to be, but they actually just moved it all the way right up to the front. Um, you can do the unlocking all kinds of different ways, but remember that blade is going to swing free. So you really have to pay attention. Once you get the hang of it, it's great. Uh, fairly deep pocket clip or deep carry pocket clip is reversible. And in fact, that is a pretty aggressive reversible cutout there. So you can see how this, this drops in. Uh, as far as the street price of this thing, probably about um, $84 is where that might land um, with about a $100 
um, manufactured suggested retail. Again, it is a Nitro V blade. Let's see if I can find that one a little faster. Right in there, there it is, Nitro V. Um, I do like this this extra little uh, like a finger choil right up front. That's just it's such a useful um, useful shape. It kind of you know it reminds me of some of these others like this one here. This is um, a pretty aggressive. I consider this like a super box cutter. Um, but a lot of the work, as I mentioned in many videos, um, you know, is just right up there at the front of the knife. That's where you're using, um, using most of the cutting, whether you're slicing through, you know, a lot of us live more in cardboard jungles. Um, and the cardboard jungle means that we deal with boxes and paper and tape. You know, those are the, uh, you know, those are the things that we fight with on a day-to-day -day basis. We're not out, you know, working with animals and other threats but something like this it would be outstanding for that kind of an environment as well and it it's uh an exploration into lexand as a hand lexan as a handle um and into a, another locking mechanism now if you know of any other knives that use this let me know i kind of explored it a little i didn't see it um but they call it a super lock so they must have some reason. And when you look at the size of that indent there, you know, I'll compare that here. Uh, see if we can get that one out. Uh, that indent, it's really hard to see there. Well, mainly it's that cutout right there um, versus this entire giant depression. Just locks it in. So it's almost like a, an axis lock, um, but in a different form might be stronger definitely heavier but anyway there it is uh the civivi vision fg a new exploration into uh knife design and technology by civivi for august and with that dock out <laughs>